this last shot? What did you think of it? Um, he just hit the same one, you know. Um, double high ball screen was working. I thought we did some good things out of it, getting to getting to the paint. Prior possession, same thing. Drills a three. I gotta trust. I gotta trust him in that shot. Back iron looked pretty good in rhythm. I thought it was good. Give Smotrich credit. He had a good contest. Pat, with about uh, 25 seconds, DJ, did he slip on that play? Or are you recalling it? I hate to hit you with something. Like you know, I don't know. Um, you know, going through your mind is, do you like your odds? Because you still have a timeout. Do you like, you, you, I always say to them, I'm going to give you a rush. I'm going to see if, if we all like it. If you like it, let's, let's do it. If we don't like it, I'm going to call timeout. I saw Sumatra Chomp DJ, I, like, I just like my chances there. And I don't know if he slipped, I don't know really what happened there. But obviously, that, that hurt big time because you got the stop. Finally got the stop that you needed, and then uh, unfortunately gave it right back. And you guys only had season low seven turnovers. <coughs> I mean, it, it stung you, obviously, the, the, the worst time. I'm sorry to bring that up, but it was, after playing so well, how difficult is that for one of them to get you down? No, it's brutal. It's brutal. We, these kids are playing their, their butts off. They're doing some really good things. They're competing. Um, I mean, obviously, Ohio State was something that happens to every team at some course, at some time during the course of the year. And, um, you know, we played really good basketball. We really did. I mean, 11, 11 assists, seven, seven turnovers is terrific. Guys stepped up. Guys made big shots. We didn't sulk. We didn't complain. Um, we didn't really put our head down when they went up, what was it, 13? And um, we battled right back and took the lead. Really proud of a really, really gutty, gritty effort. Uh, made some adjustments to get to get back to that point, which was great. Um, these are tough to swallow. The moral victories are they're no longer here. Coach, did you uh, get a chance to you know, talk to Brandon and see what was what was up with his knee on there on that? You know what, I haven't. I'll talk to Saz when I leave here. Um, I'm assuming the same thing. Uh, but hopefully just, you know, it's going to be sore. It's going to be. So hopefully he's all right for Wednesday. Uh, Gino had a pretty good game first half. I think it was 12 points or something like that. Are you seeing him kind of uh, step up into that? We're going to need you to have these kind of games tonight. But, you know, we're going to need to have those kind of games from you next year as well. Kind of. Yeah, I haven't got into next year yet because I'm still focused on what we can do this year. But he, he needs to play real consistent basketball. And I think when he plays consistent, he's really good. And he makes us that much better. And teams are going to have to start worried about him. And that just gives you more of – gives DJ more space. Um, you know, and Shep and BT and Gino, uh, when we're hitting on all cylinders, man, we're a really good basketball team.